call me lazy, but I'm just going to read another article into the record. This is a great article by Caitlin Johnstone. <clears throat> what have you done to yourself? <laughs> Caitlin Johnstone is uh, uh, some writer, right? She, I don't know who she is. Anyway, um, excellent article, excellent perspective. Echoes, I couldn't have said it better. So I'm just going to read what Caitlin Johnstone said, right? Trump supporters are hurting Assange with their 4D chess talk bullshit. Right? They are, right? Look at this art. Look at this. This sums up everything, man. Look at this thumbnail. It's wonderful. Here's the Trump guy, a MAGA, wearing his MAGA hat. QAnon. Wah, WWGI, blah, 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 blah. Do nothing. Trust the plan. Cop says, sounds good, right? That's, that's what you guys are all about, right? You trust in the plan? So here we go. At a time when everyone should be out in the streets shaking the earth and protesting the Trump administration's prosecution of Julian Assange for exposing U.S. war crimes, those who continue to support this president have one message and one message only when it comes to the WikiLeaks founder. Do nothing. Relax. Wait and see. Trust Trump. And don't do anything. Trump is about to save Assange and save us all. Do nothing ridiculous right but that's what's going on i mean i get the same you guys are the commenters that come in and comment same thing do you guys think this strategy benefits exact what who do you think this um this strategy benefits exactly question <laughs> nobody it doesn't uh, look the other thing is julian assange is a publisher sitting in a prison cell right now even if he's not convicted or extradited or anything he's being punished right now right now that is the message. Even if we can't convict you, even if we can't extradite you, even if we can't, you're still sitting in a prison cell because we're powerful and you're not. And you publish, you publish the truth about us and we lock you up. And that is, the, that is the message right now. So 4D chess off the table. These are all people who say they support Assange and WikiLeaks, who say they support free speech and oppose the deep state. And yet... What they are doing today hurts Assange and helps the unelected power establishment known as the deep state, just as much as the hysterical Russia dupes who are overtly smearing Assange today. Ah, you guys are the same as the Russia dupes. To be clear, not everyone who voted for Trump is doing this. Many are aggressively opposing the administration's prosecution of Assange and vocally withdrawing all support for him. Hmm, good. But the ones who are engaged in the behavior I'm, I'm describing are all helping to kill the loud and, and aggressive opposition to Trump, to uh, Assange's imprisonment, which is so desperately needed right now. And they are helping everyone they claim to oppose. The pussy hat wearing Assange haters and the MAGA hat wearing Assange lovers are on the same side of this issue, mindlessly working towards the exact same agenda the permanent imprisonment of a truth-telling journalist. Every time Trump advances a long-standing evil agenda of America's permanent government, I see my social media notifications swarm with Trump supporters telling me <clears throat> this is actually a good thing because it's a secretly a brilliant strategic chess move that the 45th president is taking against the deep state. <clears throat> I covered the QAnon killer. You could see how this kind of thinking leads to one in the, 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 the case of the QAnon killer, the Anthony Camillo, who shot the Gambino crime family boss dead and had a Q on his hand. Same story, right? You see where the thinking leads. Right? When I say this, uh, this happens every time, I'm not being hyperbolic to make a point. I mean, it happens every single time without, without a single solitary exception. Always. <clears throat> it's been my experience, too. Whenever Trump does something stupid, QAnon, the QAnon team comes in to save the day. No, no, no. It's 4D chess. Trust the plan. Right? It, it's been my experience as well right? on, this, on this board. It happens with such clockwork reliability that I pre preemptively address it at, uh, in an article I wrote when Assange was arrested, saying, I'm going to have zero, quote, I'm going to have zero tolerance policy for QAnon cultists who try to tell me this is actually 5D chess by Trump to overthrow the deep state. 
Stay out of my comments. Stay out of my social media notifications. Stay the hell away from me and please rethink your worldview, unquote. Hmm. It's pretty, pretty, those are fighting words right there, Kaylin Johnson. I said this because I knew it was coming, and indeed it did. All sorts of theories have been concocted since Assange's arrest, which people cite as proof that Trump is actually protecting Assange with his administration's indictment and extradition request. Instead of working to imprison a journalist for exposing U.S. war crimes, which is actually what's happening. Remember, a human being is sitting in jail right now. Stop with, it's, gonna ha- it's good for him, it's good for the country. Stop it. You're hurting us, you're hurting him, you're hurting yourself. They tell me that Trump is bringing Assange to America for trial because he can only pardon him after he's been convicted. This is false. As U.S. President, a U.S. president can pardon anyone at any time of any crime against the United States without having been convicted and without having uh, even been charged. After leaving office, Richard Nixon was issued a full pardon by the president, by Gerald Ford, blah, 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 right? So Nixon had never been charged with anything. If Trump were going to pardon Assange, he could have done it at any time since taking office. Instead of issuing a warrant for his arrest in in December 2017 and uh, executing it on Thursday after a series of international legal manipulations, a pardon is not part of the plans. So there you go. Another common belief I keep encountering is that Trump is bringing Assange to America to get him to testify about his source for the 2016 Democratic Party emails in exchange for a pardon, thereby revealing the truth about Russiagate's uh, origins and bringing down Clinton and Obama. This is false. It's not entirely false, but I, I get that. Everyone who knows anything about Assange, including the Trump administration, knows that he will never, ever reveal a source under any circumstances whatsoever. Well, that's not entirely true either. It would be a cardinal journalistic sin, a violation of everyone, uh, every promise WikiLeaks has ever made, and a betrayal of his entire life's work. I, I don't agree with that, but... More importantly, imprisoning a journalist and threatening him with a heavy sentence to coerce him into giving up information against his will is evil. If you believe your president is doing that, the last thing you should be doing is cheering him on. All right, so Assange could, there, they, the Trump, Trump could think in his sick mind that he's going to bring Assange to U.S. soil and then try to coerce him into a 2016 confession. That, that could be what Trump is doing. Trump believes that. And they're going to torture him, and, and he believes it. So it's not unrealistic to think that that's what Trump wants to do. But it's still a preposterous idea to prosecute a man for your own political gain. Right? That's evil. It's fucking evil. Either, no matter how you slice that, that's evil. But that is what Trump is doing. Trump is pursuing the imprisonment of a journalist for exposing U.S. crimes so that he can scare off future leak publishers and set a legal precedence for their prosecution. Absolutely, fucking absolutely. absolutely, that's what he's doing. I've been engaged, uh, engaging people in debates on this subject online, so I can understand their arguments well enough to address them. And what I've learned is that they don't really have any. Those who believe Trump is actually secretly helping Assange and helping the American people by prosecuting a journalist have no basis for their belief other than the pure faith that Trump is good. Therefore, anything he does must be good. It is the exact mirror image of Russiagate hysteric- hysterics, and it benefits the exact corrupt establishment. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Damn straight. The mental contortionists that people are uh, contortions that people are doing to avoid the cognitive dissonance between their support for Assange and their support for Trump is truly something behold to behold. For the last 24 hours, QAnon adherents have been telling me that Assange Assange holding a Gore Vidal book when arrested is an undeniable signal that he is coordinating with the Trump campaign to bring down the deep state and that I am crazy for being unable to see it. (laughs) 
turns out that it was actually a book that Assange wanted to read while he was waiting to be uh, processed at the courthouse, which which makes uh, sense since Vidal's history of the national security state covers a subject that Assange has devoted his entire life to. QAnon is such a brilliant propaganda con- construct. Absolutely. It's one of the most brilliant of our time. With some cryptic posts on an anonymous message board, whoever is be- behind the, the PSYOP uh, has succeeded in manipulating a vocal and impassionate section of Trump's base into applauding every single step he takes in advancing the dystopia agendas of his predecessors as a brilliant 4D chess move against the establishment. I've been told uh, this, that his bombing of Syria actually took out an Iranian, uh, Iranian nuclear base, that he's, helped to free, that he's helped to free the Venezuelan people without harming anyone, that he's fighting the deep state in Iran, that, he's, that his dangerous escalation against Russia are just uh, a show because him and Putin are working together, a comical overlap of the Russia Gate crowd. And, a last, and, and last year, they were telling me that Assange uh, isn't in the embassy at all because Trump had already covertly rescued him and pardoned him. <laughs> you remember that? I remember that. There are people who, are honest, who honestly believe that there is a revolution against the establishment under, underway, which is being led by a plucky alliance between the president President of the United States, the Prime Minister of Israel, and the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. It's getting that bad. QAnon followers make up a majority of Trump's base, but the insanity of the QAnon psyop bleeds into the greater MAGA crowd and helps normalize the kind of thinking which people, which leads people to conclude that a brilliant prosecution of a journalist for telling um, a blatant prosecution of a journalist for telling the truth about the U.S. political construction is actually a strategic maneuver against the establishment. The enthusiastic promotion of this narrative has an undeniable, pernicious, chilling effect on opposition to Assange's wrongful imprisonment, which should be an issue upon which the right and the true left agree. I've never pushed away Trump supporters because I believe isolating uh, into ideological echo chambers makes the left impotent and stupid. And many of them have followed me since I started this gig. All right, so so um, the rhetoric is... Uh, Assange uh, could have been pardoned already long ago, if not by Obama, then by Trump. There is no excuse whatsoever for this to, to have happened already, let alone for Assange to be behind bars at the behest of, his, of this administration. Stop saying wait and see. We've already seen. The time to protest is now. Get your foot off the brakes and aggressively demand that your president cease them doing what he is doing. <clears throat> Make it an election issue. Trump can't afford to lose his base. But if you keep saying wait and see, the narrative manipulators will keep moving back the line you've sworn you'll never let him acro- let him cross until before you know it, you've got another four years of another Bush, Bush bomber while Assange remains locked in a cage. Don't let him do this to you. Use your power now. Wow, what a great article, right? So, so QAnon people, Trump people, you're being duped, right? You're being duped. You're 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 getting you're getting your ass handed to you. Trump is in bed with the with he is the deep state now. He's they they look look at Venezuela, look at Syria, look at uh, look at just look look around you. Look what's going on. Look at look at his silence on the yellow vests in in France. Look look just look look at what's going on. Right, you know. Look, I'm 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 get I'm I'm at the end of my rope with it as well. i would be honest with you. Everybody, anything anti-Trump, I'm unsubscribing, I'm unsubscribing. Conti, you don't know what you're talking about. No, you don't know what you're talking about. Wake up, smell the coffee, stop public putting your bullshit comments, and just try to try to understand that when you know when you, you've gotten you, you've gotten fucked, basically. Just just accept it, right? Let it pass and 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 try to transcend it. Uh, 
try to send you transcend the QAnon ridiculous propaganda into something meaningful, into some kind of truth that you may have realized. Marcus Conti reporting.